as you may remember, my little cream and brown Henry, who is missing a, oh, a wheel, which is probably in the loft somewhere, we'll come back to that, doesn't run very well, as I'm sure you remember. But thanks to Pneumatic Rule 29, we have a pair of carbon brushes which should fit this motor because they are smaller than the later style motors. So I thought I'd get the camera rolling. I'll have to go find this sodding missing wheel in a minute. And we'll change the carbon brushes and see if we can finish off this project once and for all. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, Crickle Cream and Brown Henry has basically just sat up in the loft ever since we finished filming the before the after video, really. The one where I, I put a question mark on it because of these brushes. And I'll be honest, I, I've forgotten a little bit about it. And you know, I needed some other pneumatic bits. You know, I had the NV200 project going on and now yeah, I, I messaged Mr. Daniel about something else and went oh and these and yeah he had some so now we can fit them so we'll take the top off take the cord wheel off meh don't need to worry too much about any of that and then I'm hoping that we can take if I can pick the little screw out, no, we're not starting that. It's very hot today, I'm very busy. We need to just get on with it. Yeah, it's very hot. I want to open the door again. But yeah, so I've got these carbon brushes, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, I need to fit them because I didn't turn this thing on without them because the armature is very good. And I don't want that to you know, not be very good ever. There we go. Look, I think, oh, there goes the three wheels. We can probably do something with that. So let's pop up this very gently because we don't want to snap it. And then, yeah, we can take out our tiny little nubs of carbon and go, yes, look at that. Perfect fit, and it's important to do that first because we've now got to chop off. Oh, there it goes. Chop off the old carbon brush because the new ones have a little clip on the outside. So, in fact, we could possibly get rid of that bit of metal as well. But I just want to double check that it fits first before I go do something. Oh, the little spring just doesn't. It does if I push it in at an angle, and that might be all it needs. Eh. Ooh. Here, yeah, isn't it? This spring. Where's the old spring gone? What? Where's the old car? Where's the old. Oh, bother. I'm going to go and find the old spring, see if I can swap it onto this. Because really, that this spring is too big, but the carbon fits. And I shall come back when I've succeeded. And eventually, with the old carbon brush spring on the new carbon brush and cutting off the end of the carbon brush holder, we have one fitted. I think it touches. I can't quite see in this light. Can I turn the light on? Yeah. Does it touch it? Yes, it does. Right. Let's do the other brush. Put this back together and we'll see as she runs. And with the surgery back done, and I found the missing wheel, but they're both a bit meh. They don't click in. May have to have a look at that. Maybe I do need to bash them in quite hard. Maybe they're just warm, which would be a bit of a shame. But equally, you know, he can roll around on them. They're not, they'll do it now. But the big question is. Will he now work? Because, yeah, the old brushes were terribly, terribly low, as you know. Yeah. 
he certainly does and listening to that wind down noise it reinforces my belief that i think i messed up with the mv200 because these are the same bearings that, you know i bought four two in here two in the mv200 but the mv200 sounds like rubbish so i think i need to find myself a small little bearing press it doesn't even have to be a big one because i think me hammering the bearings on doesn't help those of you with a keen eye will notice that the thermal cutout temperature sensor is lying right here and it fell apart i didn't even put on it just pulled all the wires out of the end of it so that's now gone and it's directly wired up so we now have henry working well why all the sudden cream and brown henry love well also in the box it came from mr pneumatic rules it is another hose i haven't washed this one yet but i now have a decent and it's a genuine hose and see the reason i wanted a genuine hose is because i didn't want to have to look at a pattern hose end i know it's not a brown hose especially for this it looks better on the mv200 but equally you know i'm not going to hunt out for a brown hose i'm fine with that in my head i just didn't want to look at a crawl sex one i also got Another bent end, again, I haven't cleaned it up yet, but as you know, in the other set of tools, the bent end is seized in, which makes it really good for the power head, but for normal use, no, I don't like it. I've just been and found two ones. And actually, I've left oh, the other bit over here. Daniel also sent me the one missing piece, which is the bit that those screw down into and that holds this bit into place. For my oldie style floor head. So now, and I've also got these down, but I'll show you those in a minute. So now, oh. The tools, well, these are the small tools that came with that 2011 one. You know, the free pneumatic that I picked up for its tools. And actually, they are brand new. So we have brand new small tools. Obviously, fully not correct for this at all. But equally, these are going to get a lot of use today. Because over there is my desk, and as you may notice, I now have two monitors sat on an arm at the back. There's also a new laptop there, which you can't see, and a desktop, and the laptop isn't fit for purpose, so I'll probably be keeping the desktop. But either way, it was just thrown together to check it worked, really. I picked it up two days ago. The idea now with Cream and Brown Henry is that we are going to spend the day together the whole desk has to come out. I have to cable manage it. I'm low, low on plugs. The cables have all a mess because it's all just chucked down. I don't think I can zoom in. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that mess of cables. So, yeah. It all needs to be done. And I thought, yeah, what better vacuum cleaner to use than a pneumatic? And also an excuse to get the cream and brown Henry completely finished. So, there we go, really. Little possibly update video. I now have two full pneumatic toolkits, one which can stay as a straight suction, the other one can be for the power head, and yes, the power head will fit to Cream and Brown Henry, and yes, you will probably see that fairly soon indeed. But for now, for this video, thank you very much to Pneumatic Rule for the small random parts, always very handy. Thank you to you for your continued support, everybody. Thank you to Cream and Brown Henry for working. And I and Cream and Brown Henry will see you soon. We have a busy day ahead of us. In fact, maybe I can start on a little bit for you now because I've got to get the sofa moved first to be able to pull the desk out. And that's going to be disgusting. Oh, I've knocked over one of my lights. That's going to be disgusting. How about a little bit of an ending B-roll of me vacuuming out under the sofa?
Thank you very much for watching, and I, and Cream and Brown Henry, will see you soon. Bye bye.